welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. You guys, I'm so sorry. I'm late. I hardly ever film a budget video on Thursday, but I thought this video was very, very important because I didn't get to show you guys the new paycheck budgets last week. Also, um, I definitely just need to do this budget because I've been trying to go off of um, what's written down in my A6 and sometimes that just does not work. So um, before we get started, this is what this is the insert that we'll be using today. It'll be listed below as always. Also, my website will be listed below. But you have the paycheck budget and this is what it comes like. And you have your date amount check number, your other sources of income, bills due, sinking funds, expenses, and your debt payment here. A good old note section, y'all know I love a note section, and then you have your summary at the belt at the bottom. It comes front and back. Enough room on the side for your hole punching. And it comes in plain as well. Same format, just no color. And this is the monthly. I think you guys saw the monthly and my monthly um, budget, and we went over that. So let me move these out the way. And we're going to be using, I think I'm going to use the color one, and I'm going to, I have one here. So, obviously, I already put it in here. <laughs> and then I'm going to add this one in between. So, once I use this side, I'll just um, use this one next, just to show you what it looks like on the plane. I'm kind of a plane girl, but I will say that this, you know, does look aesthetically pleasing. So let's get started. You guys, I also introduced the budget box. I'm going to try to put a picture here somewhere. Um, in the budget box, you will be getting tons of budget items. You can have it one time, you can get it monthly, or you can get it three months. If you order it for three months ahead, you get a discount on that box. Um, there'll be so many goodies in there. There'll be our 2023 um, budget bundle in that. We've gotten rid of our old bundle. So if you didn't catch that on my um, insert sale where everything was 50% off, it is gone because we're going to be introducing the 2023 bundle and it's going to be loaded, packed, and it will come... Um, for the sub box, they will come in plain, but they'll later be released where you can have the option to get um, this one here. Um, so, yeah, but I'll talk a little bit more about the budget box um, later because I want uh, to get going because I am late. Okay, so we're doing, I'm not even going to put the date. Um, this is for this week. Okay, I guess to meet about 800 this week. And for those who have a paycheck, you can put what check number it is. So let's say this is your second check of the month. You can put paycheck number two, or you can either put in the date. And other income, if you're like me, you have more than one source of income, you can list that um, here. And so over here, I'm just going to go ahead and put my sources of income here. I think I'm getting 800 this week. Um, Norris Cove. So far, Norris Cove made $7. But, well... 11. So I'm just going to put uh, 20. That's just budgeted. And then miscellaneous. Um, for miscellaneous, because I did have to go into my cash envelopes again this week, um, because I had to get some budget stuff for the budget box and um, bills, y'all. Y'all know bills. So I think I took about $40 out. Okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we're working with $140. So down here in the total income section, I budgeted, um, what did I say, Eight, $860, what, what, yeah, she, $860, okay, so bills due, so you have your bills due, your sinking funds or cash envelopes, you can list those there, and then you have expenses here, which is like kind of your variable expenses, things that you just... Um, need to pay, but you don't know really the price of it or whatever, or just something like gas, all that kind of stuff here. <clears throat> all right, so, oh, we have to review. Y'all, let me back up. Let me back up. I have to review. Last week, I was just, uh, y'all, I got so much going on, and I'm trying to 
schedule it all in. So last week was October the 3rd through the 9th. Um, we guesstimated 700. We ended up making $1,405. Y'all, it's a whole disclaimer to that. Great money. I was really shocked. Um, Norris Cove, we guesstimated 50. We ended up making 48. And Miss Lamey's was 270. And that was from our cash envelope. So we had a total of 1723. I paid Shopify this week, but I paid Walmart. I paid Credit One. We paid Canva. We paid Booth Rent. Um, car insurance. That was another thing, you guys. So then for my car insurance, I had to pay another $180 <clears throat> for another car that I have on there. Um, what else popped up? Oh, we gave T Mobile. Here it is. It's in my seat. That's what that note section is for. We ended up giving T Mobile $285, State Farm another $180. And then they took my car note out instead of this week on the 11th. They took it out on Friday. I woke up Saturday morning and my money was gone. So they took out $181. So I had a excess of $646.23 that I had no intentions on paying. It. So all of that, I mean, pretty much wiped me out. And yeah, there were a couple of dollars left, but we added to our emergency fund. I think we gave hubby that week ahead, and I'll have to look back at my cash envelopes. Let me just do that real quick. My budget videos normally aren't that long, but I had to tell y'all about that. So... In the envelope breakdown, this was, yeah, the 3rd through the 9th, we ended up, we, we showed here that we took $270 out, and um, we put $108 in, so that's kind of what was left afterwards, and there was some more, but that stayed in my bank account to cover, um, it was something I knew that was due, oh, I had to get an oil change, so I left that in my account, and so we basically had $66 over here that we added in business supplies, um, hubby, booth rent, week ahead, and birthdays. And then over here, we put $90 because that was, um, oh, no, 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 sorry, that's the total. We put $53 in these envelopes, and we put $50 in the emergency fund, and pretty much $55 in the five and the one. So that's that quick last week's summary. I forgot. I know I had to break it down to y'all. Okay, so now let's get into what's due this week. And what I do for that is I go to either my calendar, because I do list my bills in this one. So we'll just use this one. Yeah, I, I can't miss my YouTube folks. Okay, so this is the 10th through the 16th. Canva came out, and they um, were due on the 10th, and I budgeted. Um, I may have to redo this because this is wrong backwards. But anyway, um, 1377. And that's what they got. I think it might have been more, but that's it. Uh, car note Chase. They already got that. Chase, though. I'll put Chase. I don't have to put the car note because they got that last week. That was due on the 11th. And I gave them $97. <clears throat> Excuse me. $97, like, mm, I think, 52 cents. They got their money. And so I'm just going to click. And then... Um, T-Mobile was supposed to get $138 a day. They didn't get that uplift. And they came out yesterday or last night. I paid them yesterday, the 13th. And they are $38.57. And then on the 15th, we have Capital One. I'm so used to writing it over here. I may have to change that because that's going to irritate me. Um, they normally get like $25. So, you haven't paid them, but everybody else has gotten paid. And then we need to do booth. And uh, Friday, Saturday is the 15th. And she's getting $300. So, let's do some calculating. So we have a total of $474.86 that we are projected to pay. Now, over here, like expenses, I'm putting products. 
right here in this section, products. Like I know I've already spent a couple dollars, but I'm, I'm budgeting about $25 so far. And we'll see if that comes out. Um, I do gotta get gas this week, but what's today, Thursday? It may not come out next week, but I'm gonna put gas. And don't forget, sign up for the Upside app. It is the link in my bio. I've been using that. I've been getting money back. And so I'm going to put that at 50 So that's $75. Okay, sinking funds this week. I'm going to kind of refer back to my envelopes from last week because we got a lot going on and we need to um, make sure that we have enough money for everything and other great stuff. So we got eFund. Um, I'm going to give them a little budget 10 right now. I, well, let me make that 25. 25. Okay. Um, got dollar challenge. And I normally just give them five. Let me go back like a... Uh, you know what? This was the very first one. Yeah. All right, so then we're going to go to business supplies. I still got to replenish that. Um, they're going to get 10. Hubby. 25. Um, boots rent. I'm almost finished with this, but I still need to kind of fund that. And that'll get five. Week ahead. That's going to get five. And birthdays will get five. Because this is the time of year. Everything's going on. Then I got a cousin getting married. So I need to update some envelopes. And let's do a little calculating over here on this side. And that's $80. And that is in my range, y'all. Because I try to do $75 to $100. So that's perfect. And so no debt payments this week. We have $75. So let's add all of this up. $29.86. I'm going to put that here in the bottom. $629.86. And total bills was four seventy four eighty six. Total expenses was seventy five. Sinking funds was eighty. And debt we had none, so our total was six twenty nine eighty six. So that's how you use this insert here. The more I look at this, I want to redo this. I want to change this out. And I think I can just get rid of expenses that can always go in the notes section and bring that down so that you have more for your bills. But being this is a weekly one, that's why I cut it short. Like how many people have 30 bills in a week? Um, and I was talking to one of my Instagram friends and one of the questions I asked was, what is it that you need in your budget that you don't currently have? And somebody put more like lines for bills. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you have 15 for weekly. So that's, well, I guess that's right. If anything, I'll change those. So let's go back to weekly. So yeah, you guys. So I'm introducing to you guys the budget box. Um, again, it will come with budget essentials and tools that you just probably didn't know that you needed. If you're new to budgeting, it will introduce you to budgeting. Have you get your finances in order. Um, our old bundle had like a... Uh, credit score tracker. We're going to update this credit score tracker. Um, a little bit more appealing to the eye. We're going to have um, debt repayment in that bundle. In this bundle, which wasn't in the last bundle, is you'll get a monthly calendar for 12 months. Um, just so many exciting things. And some things have to be surprises. You'll get more than one pen. 
um, more than two possibly. Um, but the first box, I said that it will go really big. Like it's going to be the biggest box of them all. But going forward after that, um, you know, not each month you'll get inserts, but you probably will. You'll get something towards budgeting. Um, I'm trying to have an insert or so in every one. It'll be exclusive to you until the next month. Then others can get what's what was in the box if there are extras as far as the inserts are concerned they'll be released a little bit at a time the bundle probably released um in december um for those who are looking to budget for 2023 and they'll only be in a digital form but for my box members they'll get it printed and all that great stuff so here we are um so for the week we're guesstimating about 800 dollars um our bills totaled up to 629 dollars so let's see if we have extra most of it probably will be going to the budget box or um, into our sinking fund. So there's our goal for sinking funds this week. This is our budget for October. I just realized to see something else. Well, it's there. For October the 10th through the 16th. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this insert. Again, it will be listed below. And if I do make updates, let's say you download it and I make updates, um, you'll get a you'll get the new update. It'll just automatically be sent to you and let you download it. Okay, you guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. If today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more videos like this from me, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.